So uh, Duncan's done a good job here. He's actually turned over the uh, the initiative, so he's now looking to take control of the hoop. That's what we uh, we mm -hmm. mean when we say turned it over. Edward had control of the hoop, so he had two balls at the hoop, and Duncan was defending. Now Duncan's coming back first, and he's really turned it over because he's now in control as long as that, that stays oh, on hoop running that's side. Going to go into the so leg. that may have, uh, that's on the leg I think, so yep. that uh, means oh, he hasn't on really taken, uh, taken control. Hello, Red's going so red a little bit, oh, it's doing the same sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, no, I think that's in a good jumping position, but I, yeah, I think blue might, might be able to clear it. Open the blue, yes. yeah, yeah, you can see on the close up there that uh, I think Blue can clear that. Yeah, both balls came in slightly more pace than they liked, yeah. and they both did a little wiggle right-left mm. as they slowed down. Uh, it was interesting with that close-up. Uh, Edward may try and use the Blue as a backboard to, to go into that hoop. You can see there yeah. that it's, uh, it's sort of set up. Mm. That black is... Black clear. Well, it depends looks where like they he's clearing on. No, he's going to try softly and tap to tap blue up, and that's, that's a great shot. Very nice shot. Now Edward's got to clear the blue. And he does and that he does, effectively. Yeah. Okay. Some nice air time with the yellow as it departed yeah, as well. That's right. yeah. He's hitting the ball very well there. Duncan uh, really needs to make this seven yarder on the red. And uh, it's almost, uh, as you say, they turned it over. The, the uh, positions are reversed on where they were a couple of minutes ago. Hmm. He just, just slowed down. He just he, he was winding up to hit, then he just tried to pull back on the pace. And Might have to count his on. swings next time because I thought he hit on the third swing before yeah, and, yeah. and hit, and that was on the fourth. I think. Yeah, he just uh, he just realised that he was winding up too quick, and he tried to slow himself down, which um, took him offline. So well, he speaking was fighting of winding the up, yeah. Edge just wound up <laughs> yeah. six inches to, yeah. <laughs> to the boundary, so and halfway up the next court. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice save. So two nil, two nil lead to Edward, yeah. which is great. So he'd be feeling pretty good now. Looks like it's 5-3 to George in game two against Pete. It's a nice shot by Black going across. Oh, the beautiful field. shot beautiful by Duncan. Shot. He's landed that directly in front, four feet out, just where you want to be. So Edward will place the yellow yep. a bit deeper. And uh, he's doing that to, to also get... A nice shot. Yep. Maximum distance for blue, and also he doesn't want to get his yellow in the way of the red. He must clear the black. So, mm -hmm. if you try and get too clever and put the yellow too close to black, you could end up blocking yourself on the uh, with on your shot at the black with the red, and or you could uh, be too so close that when you do hit the black, uh, the ball's cannon into one another, and then you move your own ball out of the way. Oh. Is uh, Ellie? Ross is not having any luck in that game over there. That's yeah. at least three times in that match that she's come down and clanged into the leg yeah. on the wrong side of the hoop. Sort of stone, meaning that she has to waste a shot each each mm. a shot, each uh, hoop. She has to waste a, waste a shot getting off the leg. So Duncan now, it looks like he's going to have a go at yellow. Yep. So that was a better swing, a bit more pay, on yeah, the pace you'd expect from him. left as he was left. earlier. Yeah. But that was a better swing. Much more rhythm in it. Yep. Okay, so this is the money shot. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. He hits this and takes a 3 nil lead. That, uh, yeah. And he has. Yeah, he has. That's yeah. a great yeah. shot. Great shot. I don't think Gets a round of applause worry. from Ann Quinn. Yeah. The good thing Team about Madison. that shot, uh, slicing the black down, is that uh, even if the black hits the yellow, you can only drive him to the top border, which means Edward's still going to be able to have a shot from seven yards. Yep. So if I try to get uh, Chris's attention as he's stalking down <laughs> the boundary this turn this way. So. I think he's making his way to the commentary position. He's so you'll be able to all enjoy the dulcet tones of uh, Chris McWhorter. 
in a couple of minutes. The ginger walrus. The ginger walrus. Yeah, take over get that out there and get that. <laughs> get no it out problem. before he gets a chance to deny it. <laughs> <laughs> Waving to Anne, who's staring this way. I think she's waving back, but not with very many fingers. That's not a good sign. <laughs> so Duncan has a shot, oh, he's and he's a, hit it he's beautifully. Got, yeah, yeah so he's got back into his groove of um, just uh, getting that nice rhythmical swing and then releasing. So Ed, Ed will have a go at this one, I'd expect. Seven yards. Uh, no other balls threatening, so... He's, uh, he's okay. probably going to have a go at this one. Right, we've, been, we've managed to figure out the hand signals, and we've got <laughs> Anne, Anne has, has given me the thumbs up that Chris is coming up to replace yeah. you up. So you can get away yeah. and do what you need to do. Yeah. Oh, that's cloaked off the left leg. Yeah. So again, he's just trying to push that one, force that pace a little bit, I think. But he's uh, he's striking the ball pretty well. So I think Duncan's uh, style is he'll try and place this. I think we've had a fast finish on court 10. The balls are coming off, so oh, wow. George was in front. So I'm guessing George has got that level. Yeah. But a game all. But all. So Pete and George are equal. Yeah, they're trading clips now. Yeah. yeah. Venue managers charging up there to find out what the score was. Yeah. Likes to keep it all up to date. Yeah. They're doing a good job, John Grieve. Great, yep. uh, great tournament manager. And, uh, yeah. Does a wonderful job with all the major tournaments uh, here in Australia. He even managed to find a bit of time to get away and watch his beloved Williamstown have a win over Fitz <laughs> Gray. Fitz Gray, yeah, in the VFL. Yeah. But John's a stalwart of the, uh, the Williamstown Club, having uh, been involved for many, many years and, in fact, uh, represented them as the uh, president of the, the old VFA. Yep. Now the VFL. Yeah. I'm sure that my sport life probably do some sort of football coverage of that sort of thing. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. I'm getting a head yeah. nod here. Sweet. <laughs> so I think they're looking at crown damage there, court damage, I should say. Or is it just relief? No, no, uh, uh, court uh, damage. Court they damage. Uh, adjudicated that uh, Duncan has created court damage uh, in that shot. Even though the uh, the ground is very rough, if you do affect it, it's still uh, still a, a fault. So the balls are replaced. Sorry, it was Edward. organising Terry's uh, reinforcements. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I, I, I have another uh, thing I have to do. And uh, for those who know me, I'm probably are pretty close to know what that is. Uh, the yeah, my health at the moment, so I can't avoid it. I have can't to have him collapsing next to me. I, mean, yeah, to, I, I wouldn't know what to do then. <laughs> Save his life, I'll call the crew. <laughs> yeah, I'll just I'll step on me back. <laughs> <laughs> So Edward now is that one, which is, uh, which is a good play. Yep. So these two, you can see there's a pattern sort of emerging. That, Just uh, having another look at that ground yeah. in front of the red there. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, pattern that emerging is that uh, Duncan tends to, to place and, uh, and Edward basically clears or shoots. Uh, you know, it's uh, not a lot of science in it. So Duncan again will place yeah. and uh, Edward will shoot. We're being distracted by the ginger walrus who's come upstairs <laughs> now to get ready to take over from yeah. Terry, but giving us a few hand signals, showing us that he can type. Yeah. yeah. He's multitasking at he the is, moment. He he's going to be commentating as well as... Oh, uh, he can do everything this boy. Yeah, he's, he's on top of it. <laughs> so Edward now to clear the, the black. Yeah. Nice gentle clearance. Yep. And, uh, beautiful. Like he shot. He gets so much top spin on his ball, it just uh, it just uh, won't stop. You know, it, it it continues on for sort of three yards, and and then when he hits him firmer, there's so much top spin it climbs the ball and mm. uh, and gets airborne. It's a 
got a wonderful stroke. You know, if you can get that top spin, natural top spin, then the, the yes. balls tend to stay on the ground, which uh, which means you can better predict pace and also uh, you're generally hitting the balls right. I don't in the know middle. if we got that in the background on the video, but on court three, there's two balls camped in front of the hoop and Red's just put its clip on the hoop. So Red, Rob's run that hoop from somewhere in the distance. <laughs> <laughs> in the far distance. <laughs> in the far <laughs> distance, probably. <laughs> yeah, so so uh, I think the score's there now. And Robert and Edmund are uh, 5-3 to Robert. Yes. So he's come back from a deficit to take a 5-3 lead. Yes. So again, Duncan places over and Edward will have to clear. Hang on, I'm getting, I'm getting signals here from Chris. So it's, okay. so you just give Chris asking us to call the score four to four, four all on court nine between Felix and Greg Fletcher. So Greg's done well to come back there to make it four, tie it up at four all. We've inherited an extra yellow ball on our court here. Yeah. So Rob's, Pete, Rob's yellow has Pete come Pete across. Pete and George are tied up at uh, one game all. And Robert, if he can, uh, he's, he's missed with his first shot at the blank. He's Duncan now, sorry, I'll come back to this game because Duncan's about to shoot at the hoop. <coughs> oh, he's rejected, so he yep. really hit pretty hard at that one. Yep. He's trying yeah. to run it down to the next hoop, but he's played enough croaky to know that it's run it through the middle of the hoop at a decent pace, it'll get down the other end. You don't have to try and hit it harder than you usually do. Mm. So Edward will place here and then clear the black with red. So he needs to force Duncan to make a few clearances, I think. Yes. That's nice. Yep. So what's been happening is Edward's been placing quite deep and Duncan's been positioning in front of him. And I think what he needs to do is uh, force Duncan to make some clearances. So so actually perhaps hug up a little closer to the hoop, forcing Duncan to shoot at him rather than, as he's going to do here, he'll just come in in front of the yellow. Yep. They need to force them to change their style. So there you go, Duncan will come in between yellow and the hoop. Yes, and try and get a nicer. block on the red, which he's looks like he might have done. May have just missed it. Yeah, red I think Edward's red's coming in red's there with his release, so yeah. he, he didn't ask for anything, so it's well off. Yeah. So. Nice yep. shot, yep. very nice shot. Sound of all that. Yeah. So with that big uh, backswing, that he generates a lot of pace off off a you know nice smooth swing. You can see he's got probably the, the biggest back lift of, of any of the players I've seen around for a while. Well, he's got those long legs. He's got long plenty legs, of room for, yeah, a, so <laughs> for a big back yeah, swing. <laughs> that means that he's got a big arch. And uh, if you know anything about the technical side of sport, if you're hitting with a bat or a, or a mallet or anything else, the bigger the arch, the, the faster the, the, uh, the club head speed and therefore the more power you'll generate. So you don't have to swing hard. you just got to generate speed. And, uh, and that comes from a big arc. And, and Edward just about generates the biggest arc of, of anyone <laughs> playing at the moment. It's like we've got a refereeing decision happening over on the yeah, court. That's next a great to shot by oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, I said Edward had to force him to make a few clearances, and he's nailed it. Mm. And, uh, and where that yellow ball's gone out, I think, is blocked from the hoop. So. Chris McWord has turned up. I have some uh, things I have to go and do, so thank you all very much. Um, and all the best now to New Zealand and Australia for the rest of the test. I'll hand you over to Chris McWord and see you later, mate. Yep, see no you. worries. See ya. See thank you. you. Just passing the gear over to Chris. In the meantime, Yellow is oh, trying to jump over Blue and failing. <laughs> Vanishing into the distance, and Blue will probably run this hoop. So I was told to replace you, Marty, with your bad jokes, but Terry had to leave, so... Well, I've been holding back on the bad jokes oh, no. as well. Well, apparently there's, uh, according to Facebook, there's 8,000 people streaming, 8, live streaming. 8,000. Right. Not so feeling any pressure, that's good. So you can... Uh, you, well, see how All right, countries so you can that was a, oh, well, hey. 
<laughs> cause a few international incidents. <laughs> so far, I think I've only done the ginger walrus, and that's about uh, all I've mentioned. That's oh, well, that's that's okay. So it's very tight here. So uh, first games in so far. Australia were winning 3-1 in the first games into the clubhouse, but uh, New Zealand have fought back strongly, and it's now 4-3 in the clubhouse. Um, I was doing a little bit of commentary on croquet scores, but I'll hold off on that for a little while now that we're back up here in the in the crow's nest for the uh, first warm day of the well, event. Well, warm for Kenley. This, yeah, it's going to say, it's gonna say if this is warm, you know, I've only got two wind cheaters on today. Um, we're a few layers down, so... There was a bit of a, a battle there earlier uh, to see who could get the first point in for their country. Uh, Robert was getting beat up a little bit by Edmund in the second game, but he's come back really, really strong and taken a lead there. And mm -hmm. Felix was expressly running around against Greek, hoping to get that point. But uh, behind all of that, Allison, Allison is flying along. Three up. Yeah, and just so put a very nice ball in front of the next two. So Allison with on court one with the, the one ladies has... All the focus has been on the uh, the boys' games today. Everyone wants to see the big hits and the big smacks, and the ladies have just gone around and done their business. And they have. There's a few uh, slower games on the outside courts, but very intense games. The uh, I think Judy and uh, Sonia on court five were on hoop seven for... Ever, uh, and now they've been on hoop eight ever. since then. <laughs> but <laughs> hoop eight is critical, Marty. We want that hoop eight to bring back the score for all, and... Uh, yes. That would be a great one for Judy to well, it bring that one home. It does home. appear from the distance that that she's either just run up or is in the jaws of it. Yeah, she's in the jaws. And we can yes. see Ned lining up here. Great camera work. Unfortunately, not a great shot. Yeah. Um, well, it's cameraman down on the side of the boundary, not looking overly thrilled that his uh, electrical cord was jammed into the concrete there. Oh, that's <laughs> but um, <laughs> no, Ned's, uh, Ned's fought back strongly there with the first two. We just need to hope he can... Uh, keep the momentum going because yeah. uh, Duncan's got a great opportunity here to tie it all to all uh, with a with a hoop score here. Um, and well, Ellie's failed that little hoop but it's jawed nicely. Yeah, I think she's got that game against Ellie under control quite well. And Ellie's uh, number one lady for New Zealand but she's the youngest in the team and although she's won some great tournaments the last couple of years, Alison's uh, Obviously been on the world stage for quite a while now and yep. knows what to do oh, with the business. Oh, great shot. But Ellie yeah. has just uh, picked the yellow out, jammed Allison out from the hoops. Uh, so a nice eight-yarder jamming her out from the jaws of uh, of hoop nine. So they're going to play on that one a bit longer. Uh, and Black has tied it up to all here. So Greg was in a world of pain on the court over there against Felix <laughs> earlier, but... He's uh, since run three hoops in a row to actually take the lead. Greg is now leading. Yeah, he's um, having a go at another hoop four, there. and he's having a shot at hoop ten. Yep. And uh, that'll actually put Greg six four up after being four two down. It's going to be six four up, mm. which he does. Nice smooth hoop. Yeah, so I don't sound so surprised. No, oh no, no. Felix was Felix was absolutely motoring. Felix was doing everything, but Greg's got back in it from. Yep. Long hoops. We've seen the players that have uh, made big comebacks today. Um, they've stopped themselves from being bashed up by the opponent by going a bit deeper or going to the border. Mm -hmm. uh, it was working for Edmund earlier. Um, game one, that was the only hoops he made, was boundary hoops, because uh, Robert just picked him off on anything in the middle of the court. So mm. the hoop 11 and hoop 5 has been really interesting uh, because the balls obviously are in the court, Ooh, just nice seeing what the players are doing. Big and rejection up there from um, Edmund has Edmund just uh, missed from, from a very short distance. cherry ripe hoop 11, which might actually give Robert the game now because Red Bull's sitting there ready to pounce. Uh, that's going to be very close to yep. the game winning. This could be game, could winning be hoop, game, uh, game and match. Um, and there so it is. He's got it. So he's the man who's and first into the shaking hand. So. Robert Fletcher for the first match win for uh, Australian singles today. Um, yeah, fairly easily in the first one, 7-3, and then backing up 7-4. Yeah, after getting a little bit behind, Edmund came back, obviously fighting fighting strong. He, uh, I saw him in the corridor. He said, that guy's a monster. And, uh, <laughs> and yeah, welcome to 
<laughs> the Fletch Bomb. <laughs> that's right. That we're trying to, that's a, another nickname we're trying oh, to make stick, isn't it? Yeah, the well, Fletch Bomb. Well, it's got to stick with one of them, whether it's uh, <laughs> well, we've got Malcolm, plenty to choose from. Greg, Robert, <laughs> Wesley, uh, any of the Fletchers out there, they can take the Fletch Bomb, Fletch <laughs> Bomb. Right, so. Um, so, fantastic match. So, a small win there for Australia, getting a point in the clubhouse, but yeah. clubhouse lead. there are some very tense matches still going. And uh, we are struggling on a couple. Uh, Dallas and Wendy are, um, well, Dallas is playing out of her skin today. And, yep. uh, you know, but Wendy's still out there fighting. She's got a few hoops, but Dallas has got a bit of a lead. Um, Judy has tied it all up. Uh, four all in their first game still, over an hour and a half in. So I'm sure the camera guys are glad they're not filming court five today. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and uh, obviously Duncan and uh, and Ned here. Are, well, it's not going to go a long day, but you're going to see some uh, going to see some good shooting. There's al already been some uh, some pretty good hoop running and and row yeah. But Ned with the little little jump there, he's uh, currently three two up on the show court in front of us. Yep. And Duncan just laying up. Um, yeah, it was a tricky little lie he had there. He's, he's yeah. gone down and a bit wide to the right. Well, Controls the area. Yesterday he... Uh, actually, no, it was on court one, I think, yesterday. He was getting the rolls around the peg really well. And he's uh, he's chipped it where mm. he thought it would cut right to left, but yeah, and it, it didn't. didn't. just kept going straight. So he's stayed uh, really open on Edward's uh, red ball coming back on black to protect yellow. So it'll be interesting to see whether Duncan... Uh, just puts a, a scoring ball in and uh, lets Ned have the shot or uh, whether he tries to remove the yellow, the danger ball, straight away. Yep, it's working out the uh, relief. So Greg's actually lining up on court nine with a huge jump shot. This will be the biggest uh, bounce jump shot of the tournament, I think. He's... Yep. Uh, Felix has managed to get himself in the jaws of hoop uh, 11. And Greg is just lining up for, oh, it's got to be, so it's got to be seven nine. yards, maybe more. Oh, no, it's beyond well, seven. It's, uh, it's, uh, well, it's more than, more than a boundary hoop shot, so he's probably eight. Yeah. But let's say eight, eight. let's say it's hard. We'll go eight yards. He's directly in front, though, and uh, this oh. is the distance he can... Uh, Duncan's picked off yellow with blue and almost peeled it. And so Duncan has decided that Ned shooting is... Uh, He's a lot more elite this morning, so he's decided to remove the danger scoring ball. Uh, he has scattered though, so it's allowed Ned yeah, to come in. Ned to come in, but it's going to get maybe an easy, by Black, maybe yeah, an easy stun shot for uh, yeah, for Black, Black. But he is looking at the hoop because uh, it's two on one at the moment with Duncan's ball on the mm. on the west boundary. So Greg, after a lot of uh, lining up, goes for the shot. Got the bounce. I uh, can't see whether he's putting any clips in. It went very I don't fast. I don't think so. I think it went on the far yeah. side as we yeah. look at it. He's walking straight past, so that was obviously a miss there, but he does have that all-important 6-4 lead. Uh, as we say in WA, 6 is sexy. So everyone loves getting... Do we? Six. Well, I don't know. Well, oh, apparently we do. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you get to 6 first and puts a lot of pressure on, so... Yeah, Felix has got his hands on his hips just trying to work out whether he can manipulate something here with the... Uh, the Jaws ball, he does have a, a promotion ball, he might go halfway. He might be a bit concerned about Greg's red being able to do something. Mm. Um, okay. It is blue to play, but he is looking at the, the black ball and the Jaws a lot, so I'm not sure what he's doing over there. Mm. But we'll come back to the... Yeah, where Duncan's bringing blue back in, because everything's vanished. That's right, so a few hits there. A stun, a stun. Ned's still with the advantage. He's, well, though his yellow has run a little bit on that shot on black, he didn't get yeah, it's quite hanging around near the peak. It's hanging around, and blue does get on its line oh, to the boot. Blue has got on its line. That's a brilliant shot. Yeah, blue is absolutely perfect to deny Ned a shot on the hoop, but I think Ned's always going to be trying to kill that blue ball anyway. Yep, so. yep. and he's put a good red in. Yeah, well, red's great because it's actually on black's line. So Black can't get a mystery hoop, um, although I think Black would be... Mm. It's a pretty bold shot to take Black on yellow, so he probably will be trying to get in the mix and get so in the way there. 6-4 to Allison now. So. Yep. A 
tension. It's palpable. Is that the right word? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I think it uh, looks like on the Judy Sonia game, they are going to hoop 11 now. Um, but I think by the way the balls are moving, I've got a feeling that we're 6-4 down on that one. So uh, we'll keep you keep you updated on that one because uh, if Sonia gets that, well, then... Well, early on we were figuring out the score because Sonia was putting her clips on top and Judy was putting hers on the side. If that pattern is still continuing, then well, it was there's not very many on the top. So yeah, I think it's 6-4 over there. I'll go with you. Well, because I'm like Terry, you're always right. I was, uh, I was out there. <laughs> so, yeah. So for you can pick up the the stream here on the MySport Live dot, dot, uh, dot TV uh, live stream feed. Uh, a lot of people are connecting with us today through the Facebook streaming and uh, rewatching it through that as well through Australian Croquet and Vic Croquet. Uh, I guess New Zealand probably a link on New Zealand Croquet as well, I'm not too sure, but um, sounds like a lot of people are picking us up through the Facebook feeds and replays. Well, if they're getting it, they're getting it. And if they're not, they didn't hear what you just said, so it doesn't matter. Well, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, they might have all switched off after that six is sexy joke. No, oh, you, I'm, <laughs> I'm sure you've heard that before, Marty. <laughs> like, that's think that's I standard, <laughs> so... Well, uh, maybe that was on previous Australian teams. It's always about getting to six first. So uh, Terry Hopkins, who was needed to go, need to go, need to go, is out there having a chat with Robert now. Yeah, that's right. Obviously congratulating him. He's uh, maybe that's where he needed to go. He obviously needed to get off, <laughs> get off the commentary. <laughs> um, so well, you can't lose him in that bright yellow top. And uh, that looks like Allison has one. So that's uh, two yep. match points to Australia, so um, six four, which is fantastic for the clubhouse. But we are. Struggling on a few games on the court. Yep, so Ed's, uh, Ed's just run an excellent hoop six. Yep. For There's four two lead. A lot of interaction on that hoop, which was great. And uh, Ned's managed to uh, muscle up. And uh, you notice there he hasn't been smacking it as hard. Like the last couple of days, he's mm. been um, really trying to, you know, the, all the young boys' testosterone, they've been muscling up a bit and, um, you know, probably overhitting because he's a very accomplished AC player, you know, playing the AC Trans Tasman. Um, and I'm sure he wouldn't be running half the hoops that he's been running in the same fashion. It's just uh, the boys are all so got, had got their guns out. So. He had a big AC league here at last year, didn't he? An AC that's Trans Tasman right. and a South Australian Air Cup win. Yeah, that's right. So he's uh, a talent in both sports, but he's uh, certainly yeah. reveling being part of this team and yes. a lot of uh, good interaction. And uh, we managed to play a game of mercy for about half a second yesterday before he dropped to his knees and started crying but, no. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Robert being a senior player said I think you boys should stop that now but <laughs> as a reserve but I thought we could was, uh, yeah. keep it going for a bit longer <laughs> so a reserve who doesn't understand the team the rules about being the reserve that's right can't well, come yeah. in halfway through a test oh, okay. oops left so it a day too late no I left it a day too late so <laughs> I should have been uh, challenging him to a to a gunfight yesterday so. no, or, or playing mercy with the New Zealanders that's right so <laughs> Uh, so Greg and uh, Felix are getting really interesting over there on the side. So Greg has said had the lead. Similarly interesting in Pete and George's third, where Pete got the first two, George got the second, and Pete is in the jaws of hoop three and just, just pulled off a huge clearance to get right away from the jump shot spot. So that would be their uh, their third game over there, wouldn't it, Marty? That would be yeah. their third game. Their third game. The Reds just come wobbling back in, so Black presumably... He's not in as good a spot as it looks. Yep. So maybe Ned's it's on just, a leg. Uh, starting to pick Duncan off now. Um, yep. So we've seen with the boys, you know, it's good to get a ball in for pressure, but they are reveling in, in the Rokang as well. So the the hoops that have been overturned have been being a little bit braver and going a bit deeper. Because uh, as Felix said on the commentary yesterday, the hoops aren't particularly tough if you're straight. Mm. Um, it's just when you're a little bit angled and... Yeah, so Duncan's gone deep. He's gone deep. He's going to either give himself a seven-yard hoop run uh, or, a, or a clearance there. So, And you can't really go much closer with yellow being where it is. It's a, it's an easy seven-yard of the way. Yeah, Ned's uh, hitting at the moment. So, yep, Blue's taking a nice position on the boundary there. So Greg versus Felix. Greg was on a huge angle with uh, 
Felix to in front. He spent a lot of time trying to work out whether to go for the huge angled uh, hoop shot, but realising it was a bit bit of a stretch, he's tried to get a double clearance and cut the first ball, but missed the second, which uh, allows Felix uh, the hoop shot to tie, yep. I believe. So that'll be six all and tie break hoop. No, nope. he just goes in nice and tight to make sure of it. So uh, Felix obviously uh, not doing anything too rash. He knows the importance of uh, getting that tie and taking it to a tie break hoop. Obviously Ed. trying to win it in two, not, does not want to go to a third game. Ed put a nice red in, and black has just come in as well, and yellow is going to remove the black. Yeah, I think it's the... And the does, way, rem and does the remove the black. No, it does leave Duncan with that seven-yard shot, which uh, might be the only shot he gets. Yep. Um, I think he... It's a bit of a olivic, olivic the double there of hoop and yep. red. He is checking the hoop. Uh, Ned's on a trot, so Ned's obviously feeling uh, <laughs> not net, a bit a bit happy. He's, he's been no trying no, around. He's coming back again. No, he's been <laughs> running up and down. He's got a lot of a lot of nervous energy. He's a bit of a, the Energizer yeah. Bunny or the Duracell Bunny. We're trying to work out what it was. Yeah, well, I think we've decided that he was the Energizer Bunny with that stripy top. Wasn't okay, it? that's right. So, and uh, a lot well, warmer. Well, no, the Energizer Bunny isn't a bunny, is it? It's a battery. No, that's, that's what right. we were pointed out to. And oh, Duncan, uh, and it's bowled away to the left. So he wasn't uh, no chance of a levick double there. They're not missing to the left, but um, yeah, big shout out to John Levick, the man with a shot named after him in Australia. In Australia, um, yes, yeah, so obviously a, a lot warmer today. So Ned's not in yeah, his nice uh, stripy top today. Uh, uh, actually, wearing the Australian uniform, which is good is. for camera. So yep. Still got those shocking yellow shorts, but that's yeah, all right. That's, well, <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> it's better than the pastel pink that he trotted out for practice. No, that's right. <laughs> At least uh, Greg's not following his lead today and wearing the, the little tidy yellow shorts as well. That was... Uh, <laughs> so oh, yeah, Greg's missed that. And yeah, uh, so that black one couldn't have been much chop up there on uh, court 10. Hoop three because uh, yellow clip is on that, and George has just run four as well, so he's now three one up in the decider. Up. In the deciding game, George Coulter versus Pete Landry. Yep. He's uh, yeah, it's looking very very tight up there. Um, so come on, Pete. Yes, and uh, well, we're not allowed to be biased. Terry and I discussed that before. Uh, well, I'm sure all eight thousand are uh, Australians. <laughs> 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 so. Well, you don't get the whole good cop, bad cop thing, so no, no, I don't know, you just cope with that. So. I'll, just, I'll just be a fireman then. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, court nine, uh, yeah, with Greg missing the, the Roque through, has allowed Felix to get turned down the hoop shot right in front, but actually take a northwards clearance, which he's managed to do. So, oh he's yes. put Greg on the side Very boundary nice. and ricochet seven yards out directly in front of hoop 13. Mm. So, Greg now with a half court recovery shot, red on black to actually stay in this hoop and stay in this game. Um, so Felix has played that perfectly, not taking the hoop too early, having a bit of a fiddle and manipulating a northwards clearance. He's done it perfectly. It's um, yeah, you, couldn't, you couldn't draw it better on paper. It's the way it's all ended up. Um, Back on show court, 5-2 to Ed. Black in reasonable-ish position. Blue coming, wobbling into the similar position on the opposite side. He's got it surrounded. Red is just going to take position out to the side and uh, pick off the slops if anything unusual happens. Back to court nine. Greg has missed the half court shot. So Felix now with a, a short two yarder directly in front to run hoop 12 and tie it. And uh, of course, his good work earlier sees his blue ball almost directly in front of hoop 13. So he could be uh, getting mm. a great turnover on that hoop. But back to Duncan here, lining up for a, quite an angled shot. It doesn't look so angled on the screen, but he is uh, more than 45 here, so it's definitely a jawsing attempt. Mm. Um, and it's just popped back off the off the back wire. Yep. Yep, Yellow's got a good look at that. So, just had a text through, calling us the dynamic duo there, Marty, so... Oh, who was that? Uh, well, it's one guess. Not Sandy Boo. So, no. <laughs> uh, oops, Yellow has missed, like, the other short one, so... Um, the other short one, Jennifer Brand. No, McCarty. Oh, oh that short one. Oh, yeah. just. So, 
Well, as long as I'm Batman and you're Robin, that's... Uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> I don't know. I'm surprised you didn't say that we've both got good heads for radio. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> actually, that was mentioned on the first day. But, <laughs> uh, so Duncan, uh, I think he's probably going to try and get a little in off here because it's um, he's under a bit of pressure. So yeah, if yeah. this gets in the jaws, oh, though, no, oh, that's horrible. No, you can see by his reaction. It's, um, yeah. it's not in the jaws, it's not a runner, and Ned can quite easily just pick this off. And, um, yeah, he's just having a bit of a look at something fancy. and well, uh, hmm, Now he's stopping to have a good think. Yeah, because... I think you've got to push one. I mean, even though blue has the tape in the way, mm. you've got to push something. You don't want a little easy promo. I think. Mm. No, no, no. This is the most undecided I've I've seen him, except yeah. when he goes to order beer. So, game one, court five is still marathoning along. Um, so Judy's uh, battling over hoop twelve. So I think she. Yeah, she seems to be down, uh, but keeping her two balls in controlling positions. A, a great comeback up there. We haven't talked yeah. much about Helen and Fleur. Helen did get the first game. No idea what the score was. I'm sure the tournament manager's all Fleur over that. And it looks like Fleur might be Fleur did down. manage to get it through, and she's uh, yeah, struggling a little bit. Hel Helen's played three, five, very three well down, today. I um, think. I don't think Fleur's doing much wrong, but um, yeah, Helen's been steady the whole tournament. Yep. Uh, so, a few rotations later, and uh, Felix is now having his attempt at hoop 13 from that boundary blue that he ricocheted up there earlier. So the boy's taking it pretty steady there. Oh, he's got and it. He's, uh, he's got yep, it. Fist pump. You might have heard great the piece of play. You might have heard the shouting there through yeah. the audio. So that's uh, so that's uh, six five in the clubhouse. It's uh, well, we, well, we can fl off flick over to flick over to matches now, Marty. So it's one all matches in the in the clubhouse. So. It's um, won all matches. Yep, so Phil Drew's running out there. The, uh, he's a little bit nervy there this morning, old Baldy, but he's uh, he's all smiles now. That's one all in the clubhouse. Still got me, you've still got me baffled with the one all. We won two, haven't we? Right. Oh, oh Allison. Allison, sorry. Okay, so two one, yep. I forgot about Allison. I know it's hard for walruses to oh count no, without any oh fingers, no. but it's you know. A, <laughs> it's a actually, what's interesting is the first day of the singles, they did actually split the banding across they'd have uh, two yes, ladies two men two did. ladies two men now they've literally got all the ladies on one side and all the boys on the other so yeah. it's a interesting mix up rather than changing the bands um, so all right we'll go for two one in the clubhouse how's that yeah well that sounds better i know that the tournament manager will and be you're thinking. going and you're going six five because you're counting because i the overall can. score yeah. because i can count yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, the tournament manager will be stressing a little more anyway as playoffs loom more likely yeah so AQ is uh, pretty much anchored to the side of uh, Wendy's court, trying to get a bit of um, support for Wendy and Judy. It's because yep. uh, we are struggling out there on the on the far left. The ladies uh, and court five and six are, have been playing pretty well there. Um, the guys that were out there the other day said they they were going well. They were happy with them. Oh. Duncan's um, not having a <laughs> world of luck here, is he? He's, he is trying constantly some uh, trying some funky stuff, as you would he, say. He's, he's trying keeps. some uh, yeah some. Stuff. But that, I mean, that's the pressure that Ned's putting on him. Like Ned's yes. playing it. I mean, it's still big hitting, but he's a little bit more reserved than he has been the last couple of days. I think he's learned a bit, especially getting yep. spanked by Edmund on the first day. He's uh, or second day. He's uh, he's pulling it back, and he can see a path to victory here. So he's uh, he's yep. he's executing his plans, and it's good to see Duncan under a bit of pressure because he, he has been. Uh, Judy Wembridge has taken that to thirteen over there. Okay, so we've still got a chance to be even on first games in the clubhouse. Um, Sonia's playing a nice first ball up there. And uh, yeah, Duncan's is, just uh, brought the blue back in where it's going to be sent back out again. Yeah, so easy stun shot here, but it's a nicer shot on goal. And yep. sometimes that's all you need to do, a little bit of rope it open until you get yourself in position. And Duncan does have a pretty good shot through black on red as well to, you know, play this hoop out a bit longer still. Uh, so Sonia has actually run her first ball all the way through to the back boundary. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what Judy did with her first. She, oh, well she no, hasn't she done hasn't it. She's, doing, no, she's <coughs> doing a little dance, and I thought she must have done something no, wrong, she's, but she's uh, actually just dancing around the ball. Yeah, she's <laughs> trying, trying to get some energy back. The girls, when they were a bit flat yesterday, started doing some dancing. It's interesting styles there in the Australian women's team. Uh, yeah, there's a yeah. few There wasn't things. a lot of coordination, but... Uh, oh, it's... Uh, <laughs> They enjoyed themselves anyway. That's, that's it. Uh, that's, that's all that matters. Everyone's woken up happy today. Yes. 
Well, you know, when you're going to half and oh, there's yeah, my Duncan shot, centre ball. That. Duncan does get that black on red shot and uh, really well in the centre there. Um, so is Ned going to chase black? No, he's going to try and pop it in the jaws or no, get it wide no, he's from... No, he's just taking nice position. Yeah, he's on the black line. I black. suppose he couldn't really hide from blue. Blue's no. a bit too wide, so, That's right. so he's trying to get in the line of black so it doesn't have a shot. Off for a trot for his super long stalk when he's ready. Uh, it's not looking real flash up there on uh, five. Well, Son Sonia went to the back. Yellow looks like it's gone onto a leg. Blue went to a reasonable spot. And maybe a little angly. Red's gone. I don't know if it was going at yellow or blue, but yeah. it's drifted through between everything. There's still a bit of action there. So Duncan's shot's gone. I think he went soft through yellow. It's just gone a little bit long. Yep. So now he's got the choice. Well, he's got really got to deal with yellow doesn't he yes and it's not really a jump Yellow's shot the runner yeah it's Get not really a jump shot so he's got to try and deal with it a bit of a nervous looking crowd assembling over there uh, to watch the well, finish of Sonia and Judy it's the uh, it's always the way isn't it? everyone knows that that's a critical turning point match over there so yeah. uh, even though they're still on the first game and there's uh, and we've got the lead in the clubhouse it's uh, nicely done Duncan it could prove to be the critical match of the day, and uh, yeah, Judy's got a lot of a lot of family watching at home. She's had lots of uh, lots of uh, family making comments on the on the live feed and yep. and other things. Yep. And we were here watching earlier in the comp. Yeah, that's right. Yep. I think Gippsland uh, shut down for a little while. Yeah, and uh, big shout out to her, her stepmother uh, Wilma Bath, who's uh, watching at home as well. She's all been set up with big screen and. Fortunately, we couldn't get Judy on uh, on camera today. Uh, she's you've done your court. research. I know. Well, well <laughs> Wilma is a <laughs> former Victorian champion uh, croquet player, and uh, she's 97, Marty. Good Lord, you have done your research. I know. So she uh, trots across the road to the croquet club, still gets out there. And uh, so I hope you're in a nice, toasty spot this morning watching watching the day's play and seeing what these young guys are doing. Okay. So uh, yellow went a bit gung ho there, I think. And yeah, well he's just trying to protect the red, so he was going on. I mean, yeah, he could have doubled up, but and wide from black maybe. But I think once you're uh, once you got full head of steam up, you're um, yep. Maintain the momentum, as Terry said. When your momentum's up, try and push it, and maybe this could be a slight slight turn. Time to Indeed. dial it back a little bit and. Just bank a few hoops and keep the looks pressure like on scoreboard pressure. Looks like there's been another turnaround over there in that Pete George game. So George was 3 1 last time we looked, and Pete has got it back to 3 3. And they're chucking around down there at 8. I can't. Oh, that must be George's no, clip. George's 4. George's got another yeah. clip on 7. So, yeah, so it's 4 3 to George with Pete in two runners. And George is trying to do something to them. Currently it's a jump shot. He's going to try and jump over both. So that's probably a good shot. Oh, got a hell of a lot of elevation as it left the mallet and unfortunately off to his left. Yeah. So Duncan just with the easy little uh, double up, trying a little bit of a, a wire on yellow shot through as well. And he's probably hit that a little bit hard uh, than he wanted. He was slapped his mallet a little bit there at the end, just uh, and peeks through and ties it up for each over there. So the yellow ball, which is Judy, has just gone flying over to corner one, but Judy's sitting in corner four, so I'm guessing that means Sonia's just Ooh. gone and crunched her away from the front of hoop 13. And, uh, okay, so here Ed has taken the big shot with yellow from the far end of the lawn at Possible double of blue and hoop and missed through the boundary. Yeah, it's the only, only shot he had really. So, yep. but even uh, Duncan getting back to five three, we've still got the uh, yep. the long term. First so to next. Remembering that is that dodgy little hoop where it runs away past and down the hill yeah. if you go too hard. So, I think I'd be happy with five three. Ned's in a great spot to finish this off and take it to a tiebreaker, which will. Be great for our vision on TV. Uh, keep us out there a bit longer. Yes. Yeah, nice 
my suit probably. Yeah, Duncan's uh, not going to make any any faults with that one. He's a uh, solid hoop. He knows the state of the game. Reed's come in and it's going to go down that little ridge. And